New at 6 tonight, parents are pushing back after one Fentress County School announced a graduation dress code about two weeks out from graduation. Seniors at Alvin C. York Agricultural Institute say the notice is too short, but school leaders say they won't let students cross the stage unless they meet the dress code. Reporter Mary Klingler is in Fentress County with more tonight. Yeah, just about two weeks out till graduation. Students just finding out they're going to have a dress code and it's pretty strict. You might be wondering how does this have an impact on students? Well, some parents say they've already purchased their outfits for graduation and this is going to change everything. As I told Austin, I said, you'll wear your locket if I got to tape it to the top of your hat. They can kiss my grits. According to a release from the school yesterday, girls are required to wear dark sundresses with black shoes. For boys, blue or black pants and a white button up. Ooh. I mean, if they had been a little less specific about it and said, hey, you can't wear jeans with holes in them, you need nice Sunday dress type clothes. And if you don't wear something appropriate, we're not going to let you go. Well, that would make sense. Bobby Lynn Dill says her son Austin was hoping to bring a memento across the stage, a locket inside his departed grandmother. Locket with his Nana's picture that hangs off his tassel. He's not going to be able to use that now. And he lost her last year. For one high school senior, this announcement is gut wrenching. To her, it's sentimental, you know, that she gets to wear the outfit that her and her dad picked out specifically for graduation. Dusty Smith's daughter Cordelia picked out her graduation outfit with her dad and he suddenly died in February. That's frustrating for a parent to, you know, to hear, let alone their child to hear that. I mean, they've worked so hard to get to this point. Graduation is just about two weeks away and parents say this notice should have come sooner. Cordelia's outfit violates dress code because it includes pants. And I'll be honest with you, my daughter, she's going to walk across with that outfit Oh, and if they try to say anything, I guess I'm going to call you back and say, be here. <laughs> Overall, some tough news for both parents and students, but they say they're not going to let it ruin their graduation. Back to you. Parents on the other side of this argument say they're happy to abide by the new school dress code, noting students last year showed up to graduation in pajamas. We did reach out for more from the school, but have not heard back.